you want to make your Google Classroom fancy and pretty? Then why don't we head on over to canvas.com and I will show you how to customize all your themes for all of your classes. It's my fun creative element that I enjoy doing and it's all free. So come on, let's dive in. Okay, here we are on the computer and I'm going to go to canva.com. Over here on the left, create a design. Custom dimensions because I know that the banner has to be 1000 by 250 pixels. I'm not going to choose a template. I want to make mine custom. Choose a background. This is a nice background right here. And notice it says free, so I'm free to use it. Anyone that says free, you may use it for free on the free version. If it has a crown, I don't see any crowns, but if you see one with a crown, that means you have to have the paid version. Some of them also have like dollar signs next to them and those you just pay a dollar or two and you may use them. But let's go ahead and use this one, it's free. So we'll go here, click the text box. I'm gonna choose heading and Tarleton's geometry. And I want to increase the size. That looks good. And I'm going to add another one and I'm going to put period one. Again, I'm going to increase the size, not as big as the last one, but it's still good size. And we could actually stop right there. If you want to come over here and add some shapes, add some elements, you can do that too. Well, let's see if they have any protractors. All these here with the crowns, those are the pro versions that I was telling you about. You have to have a paid account in order to use those. Doesn't look like they have anything. Oh, they have these tools right here for free. Oh no, there's a dollar sign right there. And for a dollar, we could buy those and use those if we wanted to. This one's free. Let's use this one. So there we have that. This here, we'll make it at an angle. It'll turn, tilt it. We'll tilt it here. What about a compass? Do they have any compasses that we can use for free? There we go. Make that a little bit bigger. Tilt it, drag it over here off to the side, and there you have it. Once you are satisfied with your design, you go up here and you're going to download it and save it as a PNG. And then you will go ahead and where the theme is, you are going to upload that into your Google Classroom theme. Leave me a comment below. How would you use Canva? It's a free resource to do digital designs. Hope you found that this is easy to customize your Google Classroom pages and make them uniquely you. Go ahead, be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.